Okay. I'd love to talk to you a little bit about the transition between your life and your work before and then after the TVI symposium, because you've been such an instrumental part in bringing the TVI symposium to life. And you've always been so gung ho about this opportunity and really reaching as many TVIs as possible. What was your, what were some of the challenges that you faced before the TVI symposium came into your life? It's going to sound ridiculous, but quite literally everything because nothing, you know, because like with every kid that we teach, it's so every kid is so different from every other kid, right? Like it doesn't matter if they have the same visual impairment, right? Like it's all so, and I say everything in a sense of you think you've got all of these really great strategies, but then it's, it's not going to look the same and it's not going to work the same for, from kid a to kid b to kid c and so it's like well i didn't think i was struggling with this but then you move that same or even a mod of somewhat somewhat modified strategy to kid b and you're like okay well clearly i don't like I don't, clearly that didn't work clearly i don't know because it's nothing like with every kid being so different you know the fact that we teach all grade levels you know like we're teaching kindergarten through 12th grade you know the ones who do the babies I don't understand how they'll ever do the babies but you know I do kindergarten through 12th grade you know the range of skills is so different the range of their vision is so different that it's it's a constant there's there's always something to be done there's always something to be learned and so it's like I felt like before it was a lot of work on like my part or my coworkers part to say, Hey, like it was a constant collaboration because like, Hey, have you ever had a kid who does X, Y, and Z, or have you ever had this and that? And you know, and it was just like a constant back and forth where I was spending so much of my time outside of like teaching and preparing materials or lesson planning or whatever, trying to figure out, well, what else can I do? But then you take the after and it's like, you mean all I had to do was take two days and I can get all of this stuff that I don't have to spend all of my extra time <laughs> like, trying to figure out or trying like just something that I can pull from again likely going to have to modify it but it's something that I would have never thought about had I not sat or had I not reached out or had I not done the two days worth of well even extra with all the, with all the bonus stuff you know like just all that extra stuff where it's like it took a lot off of my plate in for in the terms of like what I had to go and seek out on my own. It was just, it was just handed to me on the prettiest silver platter and it made it so much better just knowing that I had a place that I could go to pull information from that I didn't have to find on my own, which was so helpful. Um, yeah. But it makes a lot of difference. That's exactly why I loved the O&M symposium as well. And I think that's what we try to do is you spoke exactly to the heart of it is giving you the 21st century strategies that are working, that are proven to work, but yeah. you don't have to go anywhere. You don't have to seek out multiple webinars all over the place. It's just a one-stop shop and it's all delivered right to you wherever you are. And like yes. you can access it in the app or, or like on your lap at home on the couch or with your kids. Like my kids are always there. They've, they know so much about O&M and teaching now. Yes. <laughs> my I'm husband like... is the same way. My husband is the same way. He says, I feel like I could go to work with you sometimes. And I said, you want to come on, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> He knows so much. Yeah. It's, it makes, well, I think I even sent you the picture when I did the O&M symposium that I, like my little man was sitting with me. Like he was literally listening and we were doing the work together. Like, and he was, I think three, three and a half, maybe four months at almost four months at the time. And it was like, I, it just made it so easy to get so much. And that's why I, like to help figure it out and help plan because I I know how beneficial it was for me 